Best antivirus software is revealed in today's video and a few other tricks. Welcome to the channel, I am Tutorial Tucker and I show you some of the best tutorials on YouTube, just basically little tips for speeding up your PC to going and making some awesome graphics. So make sure you subscribe down below, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, please leave a comment. And yeah, I really appreciate all support. Mainly one software, but I've, I do cover two. It's a really, really awesome tutorial and I really hope you enjoy it. It took me a while to make, as always, and I put a lot of time into these videos, so please do smash that like, subscribe, it does appreciate the channel and please leave a comment below if you have any questions, I'll try and reply to as many as possible, all the links are recorded down below and a few bonus ones as well, so yeah, let's jump straight into this video. So here is the best software for antivirus, here we go, before you go and click off to go and download it, just remember to keep watching, okay, it's so so important because I'm showing you another software at the end, which is just a good secondary software to have, but also I'll show you the full installation process for this software, so do make sure you actually do watch it because it is really important and I might give you some more extra tricks, so anyway, before you go and click download free protection, make sure you've gone and made an account because having an account is just really important because it means your settings are saved in case you want to get a new laptop or a new desktop but also it just saves them if you ever need to change computers. So yeah, make sure you go click register account and you can go and fully sign up for your account once you click on it and uh, yeah, you go and enter your email, your password just like normal. So I'm going to go and do this and then I'll catch you in a minute. So yeah, I'll just enter it now. So and once you've created the account, just come back to the original page just here and all you want to do is as you can see, it's a really good website but I want to really show you so it, it gives you good protection and it is the free version like I said but there is a premium version so they will try and say that a bit throughout obviously because they've got to make money somehow but the free version literally does everything you need it to it has real-time protection which is so important so if you suddenly download a file which has a virus in it does detect it which is so so important uh, because it's easy to do and easy to download the wrong file sometimes on these sites but yeah really really good software and I want to run through it and um, they have a VPN but that's obviously paid but anyway let's jump straight into this so all I want to do is click download free protection and it's going to take you to this next page and it simply downloads an installer now the installer doesn't take too long to download because it's only a few megabytes the main installation process is once you get the program running but anyway let's go and click on this and we're getting another pop-up a security pop-up um it's windows so that's why um it's blacked out for you uh because my pc blocks up for some reason I'm recording but anyway now as you can see we've just got this loading screen uh, and we'll have to wait for it to load up but it's simply it's about to load up a downloader and sorry that it's a bit off centered it's because i'm on the monitor i use uh, it does that a bit but anyway wait a minute it doesn't take too long and it's essentially just setting up the main installation browser because it has got to download some more files but it doesn't take too long as you can see i'm just going to wait for it now and we're going to get this so all you want to do is make sure you agree to this. Now, personally, I do untick these because I don't really need, I don't want the secure browser. Um, so, yeah, I'll untick those personally, but it's obviously up to you at the end of the day. And you can do a custom install as well, um, but I'm just going to do the, the standard install. Uh, so, click on that. And, uh, yeah, now I've just come down here. I'll probably try and zoom into this quickly. As you can see, it's actually downloading down here. I'll have to zoom that in a bit, but it's not too much of an issue. Um, but, yeah, it's just just doing that so we'll wait for that so it literally does it off your screen that's why i really like it like it's a good software because it's not making you use your whole computer because if you have slower internet obviously this will take a long time or a slow computer um so it, it will depend but anyway we'll just wait for this and uh yeah we'll just continue to wait and uh, after this we'll get another screen to sort of make sure this the, the software is running correctly and i want to show you how to run the software etc so it should be pretty much done there uh we'll just have to wait if hey, there we go so now I'm just going to move my uh, screen recorder back to where we are, we're back now, um, it's still going so I'm going to wait a minute and just wait till it's finished. So once that little box has disappeared you'll then be brought this, um, I guess it's the Avast main program. So all I want to do is quickly read for this, you're protected, you've now got the world's largest threat detection network on your sub which is really awesome, to click continue and then you want to run your first scan, so let's click on run first scan. And uh, here we go. So as you can see, it's still actually installing, um, but it's running more in the background now. So you've got protection as well here. So this is really useful. A lot of this stuff is free. As you can see, you've got Wi-Fi inspector, virus scans, core shields, and virus chest. And um, so yeah, that's the main things, but you'll see there is a mobile version as well, which is useful. And you can come down here and click unwrap it and we'll see what it gets. So as you can see, there is a premium, but you don't need that, honestly. I'm pretty happy with the free version. You can get it if you want, if you really think you need it. Because uh, some people do find it more useful. Personally, for me, it does get the job done perfectly, the free version. But obviously, if you really do enjoy the software, it's good to sort of like buy the software to support it overall. But for me, it's completely fine. Now it's going to finish this and this computer is protected. And now we can go and run the free scan. So run smart scan and uh, it may have to close by browsers and a few other programs but it should be okay so first it's going through the 
browser as you can see completely fine add daily dabs it just sort of tests your apps i believe um to make sure that the latest fully update because if for that old it can cause lag issues when booting up now it's actually starting in the viruses section now so this is where we may have an issue then we can go and click next and as you can see it just tells us everything here it will say resolve all but this is for the premium section now a lot of this stuff is okay and i've got another software to help you sort of sort these issues out um because the other free softwares can fix these for you um but this software i really like i've asked because uh, it will literally fix it um it'll have a it has the live detection which i find really useful so i'm gonna click skip for now and then you can go scan finish now as you can see you can schedule it i personally don't bother with that i will just do it when i feel like it and I'll just ignore that and there we go there's the main software so yeah this is a really good software I'm gonna jump into the other one now which is really really useful and yeah um, I'm gonna go to that website now so the software I want to tell you is Malwarebytes I did make a video on this a couple days ago but it's really good software to use in this in this video because I understand obviously this is for a different audience so yeah let's go and download this so it's a really good software and it's sort of like it sort of finishes up after I've asked I've asked how you want to say it um, it sort of finishes it up um, just because some of the stuff you have to pay for but on here there's a free download which will do the stuff which you basically the key stuff which will help protect your computer so I do really recommend this again so let's go and download it click on free download and it will take you through a few of these things um, just about what the you know the premium advantage of that is but the free version for me is absolutely fine so as you can see I got it here just go and run this you'll get another security pop-up and we did just before uh, personal computer and click install so I've actually got it installed so yeah I don't know why I did it again just to show you guys how easy it is so it won't take a minute to go do this um, I assume it will fail but yeah there are a few other things you need to know about running the scan and I'll run through that um, after this is finished installing but uh, it's, it's an awesome software and it's free there is a premium but what the awesome thing is you do get a trial so if you say your computer's got an issue at the minute it's not an issue um, because you've got the premium for free for now so yeah um, excuse the pun there um, but yeah we'll just continue to wait just installing and it's a really good um, software so yeah I'll run through it once this has gone installed and now the install is finished so then all you want to do is go and open it up so click on your search tool and all you want to do is search for Malwarebytes just like so and it comes up and then it's just gonna continue to load so then we've got this pop up here and as you can see, you get the premium for free. So I saw this just a couple of days ago, just because I use it personally myself. So I still got the trial. So that's really good. That's what my favorite thing is. Do you literally get a free trial? Anyway, I said that so many times. Let's go and click scan, and it's going to run through the whole computer. So the scan is really really fast obviously it does depend on how many files you've got how big your computer is and a few other variables like the speed of your computer i don't think it uses the internet so that shouldn't be an issue um but yeah the main thing is probably how many files you've got like if you've got a lot of files has to search through then it's going to take a lot longer but apart from that it shouldn't be too bad um you can just sort of leave leave it while you're you know eating your dinner or something like that and it does tell you here how many items it's currently scanned which is useful because it's quite interesting to know how it's going and it does go pr works pretty fast as you can see scanning the file system that is like the longest process the other bits will go through pretty fast and currently it's all looking pretty clear but now sometimes i find my mobile bytes sometimes it detects stuff in my google chrome which i'm not fully sure why uh, apparently that's a glitch but i also just um i always do quarantine them anyway i'll explain that in a minute if it does pop up but it may have been fixed but it's just a glitch so nothing to worry about so yeah let's wait for this to finish and then i'll um tell you again then so it's now found some detections so it'll be interesting to see what these are but that's why it's always good to run stuff because even my computer has a few detections and everyone's does so as you can see these are potentially unwanted programs so it just goes and deletes them all for you so yeah all you want to do is then go and click quarantine and it does it so it just closed my chrome for me which is good because it has to go and delete everything and some of the stuff's inside other folders so that's why it has to do that but yeah then you go and click done or you can go and click view report which would be quite interesting so as you can see it's gone and uh, removed all this stuff which is really good uh, you can go and click advance etc i mean i don't really understand all of that so then you can go and click close click done and yeah when we're back in you can obviously run that again um so this is a scheduled scan which is good personally i don't always run it because i think i believe the scheduled scan is like it tells you to run it it doesn't just do it in the background but i haven't tried that so uh, i'm not fully sure but you've got all these awesome real-time protection as well so while you've got the premium version you do get this real-time protection which is really really useful because obviously it just tells you if you've downloaded something it detects automatically um but all, all you can go and turn these off if you're not interested but you know why would you <laughs> it's free for now uh, so i can click 
click off this and it'll go back so yeah that's the main things then it will go um into a free version as well so because i haven't entered any card it's not going to charge me it'll just go into the free version um so yeah it's really good software i hope this video has helped you out if it has please go and leave a like down below hit the subscribe button for more content hit the notification bell and i'll catch you in the next one peace out